Welcome back or welcome to the channel golfers. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Danny and I am a 20 handicap golfer at the time of this video. We are in for ordinary average golf this round as I battle Sweetbriar in Avon Lake, Ohio. This is a relatively easy public track. I've played it a few times here on the channel and my buddy Mike and I were able to sneak out in late May after a golf trip and squeeze a nine before a storm hit. This is, as the title says, the epitome of average golf. This is bogey golf through and through. Nothing super fancy, but also no big blow ups as this round will progress. Join us and enjoy just average golf. This is what golf really looks like. We're trying to normalize what real golf looks like here on the channel. Speaking as a high handicap golfer, I can attest to the fact that a lot of the time when you're out on the course, you think about making these awesome, great shots like the pros, like the guys over at Good Good. And it's not that you can't make those shots, you're just not going to make them often. Uh, and that's the beauty of golf. That's why it's a four letter word. What we're trying to do here is just showcase what attainable golf really looks like. This is golf anyone can get to. I am by no means a great golfer, but I do have good rounds here and there, and I work hard a lot of the time with inputs from viewers from this channel on improving my game and trying to lower that handicap. At the end of the day, it is just a game. Uh, we're all out here just trying to have fun, hopefully lower our scores, hopefully score as low as possible. But you know, sometimes you're going to have really bad rounds, and that's okay. All right, so two holes in, and we are playing exactly at bogey golf. We have two bogeys to start. We're at plus two here on the 12th, and our goal for today is hopefully to break 45. That would be a 90 all up at a 20 handicap. That would be what I'm trying to get at. Hopefully, I come in a little bit below that, as I said before, to try and lower that handicap. I'm going to card my first par here on this par four, and I'm just playing good, solid, easy golf and that I'm not trying to make any crazy shots. I'm not trying to hit the heck out of the ball. I'm just playing as smart as I can as I work my way down the track. This is a par three here on the 13 and I had an awful tee shot but I was able to scramble my way close to the green. Give myself a great lag putt that's going to put me in a great spot to actually make that bogey putt. And guys let me know below. It's always great to make pars and birdies but what do you think about those big bogey saves? I'll be honest with you, as a high handicap golfer, those big bogey saves for me are almost better because those are the shots you should be making if you're playing bogey golf. And when you're able to save a big putt like that, keep your score from you know getting to double or triple, it, it just it adds a little uh, gas to the fire, kind of puts some wind in your sails. Definitely help propel me here on the par 5 14th as we make a run here yet again for another birdie putt a long birdie putt and we'll again put it really close as i said before i was coming off of a golf trip so my putting and my short game were about as good as they're going to be all year and again we're able to save a par there so we're right around bogey golf a couple pars definitely helps and again, I'm not making any crazy shots. I'm just making the shots that I know how to make. All right, so as we take off here on the 15th, we land in a nice spot to approach this green, which is nestled on the right side. There was some water over there to the left. And again, here I am putting for birdie as I was able to get the ball. A little bit of luck there it rolled onto the green, but <laughs> this is bogey golf, guys, so... I'm going to miss, miss that putt. That was a very makeable par. We'll card the bogey. That's okay. We are still ahead of pace at plus four after six <clears throat> as we take off here on the par five 16th. Uh, the slice comes out a little bit there. I'm now going to be scrambling. I'm in a little bit of trouble and a pretty bad shot there. And like I said, this is attainable real golf. There are going to be bad shots. There are going to be great shots. It's all about scrambling, guys. We're all scramblers. That's how I've found I've been able to consistently go out and put up decent scores for my handicap. It's it's about figuring out how to make 
those recovery shots and not let shots like we saw there, the second shot on this hole, hang with you. Now, unfortunately, all of a sudden, my flat stick is working against me, and we go from putting for par to carting our first double bogey. That makes those pars that we put on the card that much more important as we are going to give one back there, but still just a little bit ahead of pace. A great tee shot there here on the par 317th, and now my putter is coming back to life. I was able to get a good lag putt, and there we go, another, another par. So going into the 18th, and unfortunately we did miss the tee shot, so we're going to start here on the second shot of this hole. We're going to place it just in front of the sand trap here and unfortunately a bad chip I skied it over the back of the green we're going to chip that on put it a lot further away than I think I'd hoped we're gonna have a two putt attempt here to hopefully close out with no worse than a double bogey and a decent effort there so we'll card our second double bogey a 44 for the round guys if you like this kind of content please consider liking and subscribing it really helps the channel grow and we'll keep making this kind of content thanks for watching two doubles a few pars all bogeys